hey guys welcome back today i'm gonna be doing a wig install on my bestie so this is actually my very first time applying a wig on her and she's never gotten a wig like laid on her before she's put on a wig before but she's never actually got it glued down and all that so let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see more videos like this where i apply wigs to you know somebody else besides myself let me know in the comments now the first thing I'm gonna do is prep her hair for the wig. I don't know how to cornrow at all. I've tried many times and failed. So I'm just gonna be using gel to slick down her hair and I'm gonna go ahead and give her two braids. And her hair is not like super, super thick so it's really easy to just slick it down with gel and you know get it as flat as possible. I'm also going to apply gel to her edges and brush it away from the face because I don't want to pull out any of her edges at all. So i got to brush away all her hair. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with the pantyhose because we're going to be doing the ball cap method using pantyhose because it's super seamless and thin and she's just playing around. So I'm just applying that on her head and I'm going to go ahead and cut away the excess and then I'm going to cut the holes through the ears so it makes it a lot easier to apply the ball cap method and again this video was a lot of fun to film by the way because we've never actually filmed together before which is crazy because we've been friends for like almost 20 years you guys and to get my ball cap to stay in place i like to use the bold hold liquid gold it's my absolute favorite product and i'm gonna let this sit now as you can see i just went in with an elastic band because i need to get this wig to fit her head perfectly so i'm just measuring the back of her head and i'm gonna apply the elastic band onto the wig and the wig that i'm using today is from beauty forever hair i will link all the hair info in the description box down below so the knots are visible on the wig and it's a 13 by 4 lace front wig i did bleach the knots off camera and I'm just gonna go ahead and sew the elastic band she has a very small head and this wig is just about 21.5 and her head size is around 21 so I do have to add the elastic band that way it fits perfectly now I'm gonna go in with my scissors and cut away all the extra pantyhose that we don't need and I'm gonna take her foundation shade that she usually use on her face and I'm just gonna apply it to the ball cap as well just to get it to look kind of more like scalp so that's why we're doing that okay so I'm gonna let her put the wig on her head because it's a lot easier for her to do it than me and she is already getting excited because she's always wanted red hair and her hair is currently shorter than what it was because she cut her hair off a few months ago and she's one of those people who cut it off and kind of regret doing it but whatever it's hair it'll grow back so and plus you can always rock wigs if you want to switch it up and change your hair color or length whatever now i'm going to go in with some lace glue and you guys i know this went by really fast but the glue dried super super fast so i went in with the blow dryer on a cool set and pull that lace down and i also went in with my melting spray all the products i'm using are actually my own products that i am testing out right now and i promise you it will be available for you guys very very soon so i'm just applying some lace glue to the side as well and again it dried really really fast and then i'm going to melt it down with the melting spray and go in with the blow dryer now, as you can see, I cut the lace as close to her hairline as possible. Like I said before, the wig is just a tad bit big on her head. This is a pre-made wig, so, you know, I have to work with what I have. It's not customized for her head, but I think the wig is still pretty good. And the knots were very, very small, so it bleached really, really quickly. And now the hair is completely glued down, and I'm going to go in with my hot comb to flatten down this wig and cut off some baby hairs. Now, this is transparent lace, so I do have to go in to do some baby hairs is to hide the lace it is not HD but I think the lace looks pretty good and I'm just gonna go in with some hair mousse also just to make the hair look melted and I'm gonna go ahead with the extra pantyhose and tie it down now I'm gonna go in with my curling iron and I'm gonna add some rollers to her hair so I use the uh, Sebastian shaper spray I hope I said that correctly but if I didn't everything I use will be listed in the description box down below so I go in with the curling iron hold it for about 12 seconds then and go in with these rollers I freaking love rollers like I'm completely obsessed with using rollers now because I just love the volume that it gives hair and you guys this lace melted to perfection and I'm gonna do her makeup today 
off camera we were gonna do it on camera but it just didn't happen the battery died I didn't have a spare battery so I had to step off camera to do her makeup but anyways I let the curlers sit for about an hour and then I'm gonna go ahead and do her makeup and guys like I said my camera died and I took the rollers out off camera and this is pretty much the completed look now one thing I will say if you're gonna do transparent lace be very careful when you are applying makeup make sure the makeup doesn't really touch the lace because then you'll start seeing the lace again and that's something I should have fixed but I didn't really see it until we were editing the video but yeah this is pretty much the completed look sis was getting her whole entire life and I was living for it I love how this turned out and I hope you guys enjoy videos like this and I'll see you guys in another video very soon. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.